Let's turn to business. He's now with Matt Chatterton, who is beaming in from Wellington. Matt, consumer confidence has fallen according to the latest survey. There seems to be an infinite number of surveys, <laughs> most of them miserably gloomy. What's going on there? Yeah, I've never come across so many surveys working in business, I tell you. Uh, the Westpac McDermott Miller Confidence Index. Oh, yes, there, isn't that it? one. For the, for the second quarter of uh, 2018, fell 2.6 points to 108.6. That's down slightly from the March quarter at 112.2, uh, which was close to the survey's long-run average. Uh, we spoke to Chief Economist at Westpac, Dominic Stevens, today. He says the drop is small and is just general unease from consumers rather than any specific uh, anything specific bothering them or any event that is. He says the main drivers for this unease uh, because the economy is off the boil a bit, uh, the housing market is cooling and petrol prices as we all know are up uh, which all play into the minds of consumers. He says this fall in confidence was expected and a further drop should occur if the housing market continues to weaken as is predicted. He did note though that this is nothing to worry about and it could just mean that people are saving a bit more over the winter, which isn't out of the ordinary. Right, balance of payments figures in for the year to March, right? How are the numbers looking, Matt? I haven't seen them. Yes, yes, well I've just been uh, sort of dissecting them all afternoon. These are new numbers for me coming from sport, they're a bit different. But uh, this is a measure of how, we, how much we earned and how much we spent internationally. For the year to March, we had an overall deficit of $7.9 billion, which translates to 2.8% of the value of the economy, or also known as the gross domestic product. Uh, that's quite low uh, compared to the historical average of about 35 to 4%. Uh, if I took you back to the peak of 2008 when the current account deficit was at 7.8% uh, of GDP, at those sorts of levels credit rating agencies get very nervous about our ability to pay our way in the world. When it's 2.8% like it is now, they don't, which is, uh, which is good. Uh, looking at the details, the tourism sector has continued to boom over the first part of the year but the agriculture sector didn't do so well. Uh, that's because of uh, global dairy prices being down and uh, meat volumes fell as well. Uh, other interesting things out of the figures, uh, how much we owe the rest of the world, also known as net liability, that stood at 55% of GDP. That's actually the lowest it's been since the series started in 2000. And uh, quickly speaking of GDP numbers, for March quarter are due out tomorrow. Economists are expecting growth to slow in this period. Uh, we'll have all those figures on the growth of the economy uh, for you tomorrow. Thank you very much, Matt. What happened on the markets, just briefly? Uh, briefly, uh, the top 50 index closed up 42 points or 0.5 of a percent to 8905. Uh, the New Zealand dollar is up ever so slightly on the US to 69.0 cents and down slightly to 93.3 Australian cents. Matt Chatterton, thank you very much indeed, Matt.